Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're returning. Today is another five under five. I'm so excited. We're gonna talk about it in just a little while, but for right now, let's get right into the crafting. DIY number one. So for this first DIY, I have this little like tag from the Dollar Tree, and the first thing we're going to do is just cut off the tag, the like price tag there and then i'm going to untie this and take the string off first let me just apologize right now for my video quality i'm at home so i am trying to figure out exactly how to set up my camera and everything and it the lighting is so different than the uh, in in the hotel so please forgive me for that in this video y'all but the, we're just going to take some white acrylic paint and paint this entire tag we're going to do the front, the back, the sides, all of it. And we just do one good coat of an acrylic, like pure white or something paint. Y'all know I like to show you my mistakes. And of course it fell over and got junk on it. So I'm the wet paint. So I had to wipe it off with a paper towel and then paint this side again. But after we get all of the paint on there and we get it dry, we're going to take this red and black Buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree and we're going to take a piece and fold it in half, long ways. And that's just because I didn't have any thinner ribbon, y'all. Being at home, I'm loving it, but my craft room is a wreck and not organized at all, so I cannot find anything. So <laughs> again, just a little disclaimer on this video, that that's kind of why. Hopefully the next one here at home will be better. But anyway, I just start on the back and glue the ribbon down and then I glue um, it together, open it up and glue it together. That way I make sure that it's not gonna like slip or come open or anything like that. And we are just basically wrapping it around the tag. This is super, super cute. I love it. Um, it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted because y'all will see here in a few minutes. I could not find my black vinyl again at home have no idea where everything's at I'm crafting at night here so that's why there's such a shadow there and I hated it but there was truly nothing I could do about it I, I didn't even notice it until after I was filming so again I apologize after we get our ribbon on there and the excess cut off we're going to take some jute and wrap it around right there again right in the center of that ribbon we're going to hold it in place with some hot glue and i was afraid it would still try to slip off so i just go ahead and put another like a spare piece of ribbon there on the back then we're taking a thinner piece of jute we're going to make a really simple shoestring bow and cut off the excess of that glue it right to the middle of the jute right there on the front <laughs> And then, this is where I lost my vinyl, so I had to end up using a Sharpie, and I just wrote Merry Christmas. Y'all know I hate my handwriting, but I had to do what I had to do. I still think it turned out super cute, though. Okay, DIY number two. This is so, so simple, but I love the look of it. So I bought this snowman hat at the Dollar General store two or three years ago. I found it in my stash, and you could see where it had been stored that some of the glitter had come off the top. So all I'm going to do for this is take some black chalk paint and just go over where the you can see like the white styrofoam. And y'all, this is so simple. I'm almost ashamed to call this a DIY, but I love how it looked and how it turned out. And it was great for me because I was a little behind on this video. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. And I needed super, super simple. And when I saw this hat, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. And I didn't even have to really do much. Basically, all I do to the hat is paint that chalk paint over the styrofoam that is showing through. Next, I couldn't find any tags, so I took a piece of cardstock and I tried to make a tag. I don't know what I was thinking right there, but that wasn't right. I do eventually <laughs> get it right, and I'm just, like I said, making, drawing out a tag, and then I'm going to cut it out. Y'all, I didn't have to put any floral or anything on this because it was already on there. I think that Santa hat cost me like $3, and I may have already said that, but I love how this one turned out. Then I'm just taking some beige uh, acrylic paint, painting that tag. Then I used my Cricut, and I had it right out. I'll be back again someday. And I poked a hole in the top of the tag, going to take some twine, run it through there this would have been so much easier with a wooden tag from the dollar tree but of course 
couldn't find that in my stash here at home. So I just put, uh, that's why I just used this cardstock. I did rip it at the top when I was poking that jute through, but that's not a big deal. Hot glue fixes almost anything. So I just use my hot glue, glue it together, get that um, twine in there. And all I'm basically going to do is take the twine with the tag on it and I'm going to wrap it around the hat, tie it in the back, cut off the excess and just get that tag exactly how I want it right where i want it this is supposed to be like frosty's hat and we all know what frosty says when he melts away i'll be back again someday so that's totally what this is again super simple it cost me not much more than three dollars y'all because the hat was like three dollars and everyone or at least i do i have tons of cardstock and scrapbook paper and things like that that are just laying around the house so again just tie it on and that is basically it. I loved the fact that it already had the florals. It already had the ribbon, everything on it. But I absolutely how the, love how this turned out. I think it is so stinking cute. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think about these. Are these just too simple? Make sure you let me know. So again, this is five under five, which is put on every single month by my friend Emily at Farm Charm Chic and I. Emily is amazing, y'all. I absolutely love her. I cannot thank her enough for everything that she does for this challenge. She is amazing. She has become one of my very best friends. Y'all, I've been so scatterbrained this month because I'm at home and everything's just like wild and hectic. So I apologize for that. But Emily totally takes up the slack. She's amazing. If you haven't checked her out yet, make sure you do. Every single month, we also pick a guest host. And this month, it is one of my very, another one of my very best friends, Amanda over at Six Kids in a Glue Gun. This girl does not get the kind of recognition that she totally deserves from YouTube. She's amazing. Everything she does is awesome. And I absolutely love her and Emily to death. Don't forget, there's also a playlist for y'all to check out down in my description box. DIY number three. So we're going to take this Hello Spring um, sign, chalk, I don't really know, uh, that I got from the Dollar Tree during the spring, and we are going to turn it into a little Christmas sign for our tiered tray. Actually, it didn't fit on my tiered tray, so I put it beside it. But anyway, I just go ahead and take a sanding block and sand off all the glitter that's on here, which this sign didn't have a lot. Sorry about the shaking. Again, trying to figure out angles and exactly how I want to do things during this i was doing it at night again so i had the overhead light and it just did not give good lighting but we go ahead and take some black chalk paint and i do two good coats on this after the two good coats and we're only doing the middle part of the sign that said hello spring after we get those two good coats we take some white chalk paint and we do the edges of the frame I do get some white on the black, but I just go back later and touch it all up. After we get the white painted on the frame, I do go ahead and decide that I want those legs to be black. And it is hard for you to see because, again, y'all, angles. <laughs> I've got to get used to filming at home so that while I'm here, y'all aren't looking at something like this. But anyway, I go ahead and paint the legs black. After that, we're going to make a super simple little bow with some um, buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just fold a like a circle in the middle, and then I do two um, puffs, poof, I don't even know what you call it. Um, I, hopefully, you can see what I'm doing, but if you can't, you can go back and watch one of my other videos and see how I make these simple bows. Then I just go ahead and scrunch it in the middle, put a pipe cleaner back there right through the middle of the uh, bow there and tighten it really tight. Then I'm going to make my tails, which the way that I do this is I just go ahead and take a longer piece of that ribbon like I cut it longer. I still haven't cut it off the spool yet. So what I'm going to do is cut it off the spool at some point. My ribbon was all tangled up from where I brought it back, some of it back from Virginia. So. Here I am just cutting that ribbon and then I'm just going to make like a loop and put that in the pipe cleaner on the back, tighten that up, cut 
the loop in the center and that gives me my tails. Then I made a little decal on my Cricut that says all is calm, all is bright. I think my transfer paper was a little old because this is transfer paper that I already had here at home. So it made it a little difficult to get it off here, but I eventually did get it and I could not find any white vinyl. So <laughs> this is gold. Y'all, I am a mess with this video. And again, I apologize. I'm praying that the next one will be better the next video that I do here at home. So now we are just going to go ahead. You see a different lighting because this was done today. Um, <laughs> yes, I told you I was behind, but I did get it finished and I was so excited. After we get that on there, we're just going to glue our bow right there in one of the corners. And that is it. How stinking cute. I love how this one turned out also. Moving right along with DIY number four, another super, super simple one. I got this um, box, like house box, house cutout from, I want to say TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I had this piece of leather on the front that said coffee. And I just take that off the front. It was tacked down fairly well. And I couldn't get it off with just my hands. So I did go ahead and use my Cricut scraper. Yes, uh, like I said, y'all, I'm behind on this video. And that's why the lighting goes from light to dark. Because I did half of it last night. And half of it today after church. Which I was so excited. Today was my first time in my home church in over a year. And it was just amazing. It was like I never left. The only reason I haven't been there, of course, is being on the road with my hubby. But I felt so at home today, and I love my church family, and I just loved being there today. Next, we're going to take some Mod Podge, put it on our little house there, cover that with some black and white checked uh, scrapbook paper, used my Cricut brayer to bray that down, cover it again with another cut of Mod Podge. After we get all that done, we cut off the excess, then I take this green wreath that I had gotten from another project or uh, off another item from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to glue that right to the top. Then we're going to take some jute and make a super simple shoestring bow, cut it down to the size that we want and we will glue that right to the top. And you could see that little ornament right there in front of my house. I'm going to use that for the berries on this one and then I even use the greenery in it for another for the next project. So this was like a dollar at the Dollar Tree, or maybe it was the Dollar General, I don't remember. But I just cut off, again, some of those berries. We're going to stick those right to the bottom of the wreath. It also had a super tiny pine cone that we glued right in the middle of the berries. And that's it. This project, again, super simple, but I absolutely love how it turned out. And I'm so in love with the Buffalo Check for Christmas. It Black and white, red and black, whatever colors, I'm for it all. Okay, y'all, last project, DIY number five. This, I don't even know that I'd call a DIY, but maybe it is because I did add something to it. We have a little store in our town called the Mighty Dollar, and they had these, uh, where, by the way, everything, as far as I know, is still a dollar. They have not raised their prices. Um, but anyway, I found these two super cute mini, um, what are these called? Like kerosene lamps or something? And all I'm going to do, I loved the look of them. I didn't want to change it much. So I just took that greenery that came off of that ornament that I showed you earlier, wrapped it around the middle there, or like where the top screws on to the bottom. I just wrapped it around there. And then I go ahead and take some more of those berries, just a tiny bit, glue that right to the front of the greenery. I do the same exact thing for the other lamp, just hot glue yeah i've got hot glue strings everywhere here i don't think i got my glue hot enough so i just go ahead you can see right there i'm just going like over that lip there uh with the hot glue gluing my greenery to it adding a little uh berry again and i believe that's all i do for this i think these are so stinking cute they did not need much they're so simple. But I absolutely love the look that that gave. So, y'all, that's it. This was is my final reveal. Again, thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to check out the playlist. And I'll talk a little bit more in an upcoming video about what it's like being home. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Y'all come back now. You hear?